Hello and welcome, my name is Daniel Ball, the Head of Digital Engagement at the Lee Academies Trust and today I'm going to be talking about contacts in Google. Previously, if you wanted to manage your contacts, you'd have to go into Gmail and go to the drop down and go to your contacts, but that's no longer the case. Google have removed contacts out of Gmail and now it's its own separate tool. So if you go to the app chooser and you can find contacts here, down the bottom. So if I click on contacts and that will open that in its own window. The look of contacts has been updated to make it more aligned with the other Google products. But another key change that's happened is the use of what is now called labels instead of groups. The point of groups in contacts was so that you could put that group name into your emails and then it would send it to that group of people rather than having to put in each individual user. Really all that's changed though is the name and that's from groups to labels and I believe this is probably because there was some confusion with Google Groups and so calling them labels is a bit more familiar um, with how you're using labels in Gmail anyway. So creating labels works very much in the same way. If I click the create label button, I can put my label name in, click save, and I can click on that label. Then I need to begin to add my contacts. So at the moment, there's no contacts in my label. So then if I go to my contacts, I can choose the people I want. And here I have the button to manage labels. So I can click this and I can choose the label I want and apply. So then if I go into my Academy label there, then I see those people. What will then happen is if I'm composing an email, I can just put Academy and it automatically picks up those two contacts. The last little tip, if you do have contacts from a different system, you can import them and it's asking you for a CSV file or a vCard file. Um, these do need to be in a certain structure. So if you're unsure, one good way is to export this. Then if you open up that CSV file, it will give you an idea there of the structure that it needs to be in for you to then import it back into your Google Contacts. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, write in the comments below, or share this with others.